everyone, so in this video, we'll solve some problems of properties of fluids in the fluid mechanics. This example is from the Jalasenia book of fluid mechanics and hydraulics, chapter 1, problem number 33. If 12 cubic meter of nitrogen at 30 degrees Celsius and 125 kilopascal absolute pressure is permitted to expand isothermally to 30 cubic meter, what is the resulting pressure? Also, what would the pressure and temperature have been if the process had been isentropic? So first of all, let's identify first the given in the problem. So we have here 12 cubic meter as our initial volume, 30 degrees Celsius as our initial temperature, 125 kilopascal as our initial pressure, and also we have here 30 cubic meter as our final volume. We are asked here to find the final pressure if it is undergoing isothermal process. Also, we are asked to find the final pressure and final temperature if it is in isentropic process. So, in isothermal process, the temperature of the system remains the same, so the change in temperature is always zero. By that, our temperature is constant in here. The problem said that we must find the final pressure if that's the process. As we look at the given, the initial volume and the final volume is already given, as well as the initial pressure. By that, we can use the ideal gas law equation, specifically the Boyle's law. So now, we have here P1V1 is equals to P2V2. So plugging in the values in this equation, we'll have now 125 kilopascal multiplied by 12 cubic meter is equals to P2, which is unknown, multiplied by 30 cubic meter as our final volume. So 125 kilopascal times 12 cubic meter, this will yield into 1,500 kilopascal cubic meter is equals to P2 30 cubic meter. So in order to find our final pressure, we must divide both sides of the equation by 30 cubic meter. So with that, this will be cancelled and this will be cancelled. So now, we have now our final pressure in isothermal process, which is 50 kilopascals. Let's move on to our final pressure, which is in isentropic process. So, for the isentropic process, when we say isentropic, the entropy of the system remains constant. The problem says that we need to find the final pressure and temperature if the process is said to be isentropic. So, we can use this equation. We have now P1V1 raised to K is equals to P2V2 raised to K, wherein K is the isentropic exponent of the nitrogen, which is 1.4. So let's now plug in the values in the given into this equation. So we have now 125 kilopascal as our initial pressure, 12 cubic meter as our initial volume, which is raised to 1.4, is equals to P2, which is unknown, times 30 cubic meter raised to 1.4. So this equation will now yield into 4052.880016 kilopascal cubic meter is equals to P2 times 116.9417952 cubic meter. So in order to find this final pressure, we now divide both sides of the equation by 116.9417952 cubic meter. So this will be cancelled and this will be cancelled. By that, we can now have our final pressure of nitrogen in isentropic process, which is 34.7 kilopascals. Let's find now the final temperature in isentropic process. We can use the formula combined gas law equation in finding the final temperature, since the given data is sufficient in this equation. So we have now P1V1 over T1 is equals to P2V2 over T2. So now we will cross multiply this equation. This will yield to P1V1 T2 is equals to P2V2 T1. So in order to find the final temperature, which is this, we'll now divide both sides of the equation by P1V1. This will be cancelled. So now we have now our equation for our final temperature, which is T2 is equals to P2V2 T1 over P1V1. So in this equation, let's now plug in our given values. So we have now T2 is equal to 34.6572421.6 kilopascals multiplied by 30 cubic meter multiplied by 30 degrees Celsius plus 273.15 Kelvin 
all over 125 kilopascals multiplied by 12 cubic meter. Take note when using any ideal gas equation, the temperature must be in Kelvin because Kelvin is the absolute scale. So, plugging this in the calculator, this will result in 210.1261441 Kelvin. So, our initial temperature is expressed in degrees Celsius. So now, let's convert this into degrees Celsius by subtracting 273.15 Kelvin to our resulted temperature. So by that, we have now our temperature, specifically the final temperature of our nitrogen in isentropic process, which is negative 63.02 degrees Celsius. So that's all for now. Please stay tuned in this channel for more fluid mechanics problems.